it's upside down. Huh? The paper is upside down. Look at the pictures. Yesterday was Scorcho, today is Scorcho, and tomorrow will be Scorcho too. And they read from right to left. Romeo 1-2, just approaching the street. How's it looking? <laughs> Quite enough. Have you visual? Got that. Ricky, cover your face, mate. Watch of that. As per intelligence, the house has a blue door. OK, got that. We will pick you up 35 seconds after the go. Get into the house, grab our man, and get out. Ricky, you take upstairs. Jamie covers the front from the inside. Pete, you take the six. Got that. All call signs. I have control. Stand by. And go. Thirty. Twenty-five. Hey, no, it looks like a bum steer. There's nobody here. All right, move out. Fifteen. Shit, you have company.
You know, Henry, everyone would understand if you felt you'd had enough. I'm not retiring. I'll have to be pushed. OK. When the time comes... I'm, uh, I'm fine. Louis's been a great comfort. Has he? <laughs> I've got a little diversion for you. Last lot of students on selection, about to start their E&E. &E. No matter how cold, wet, tired and starving you are, there is one thing you can depend on. There's worse shite to come. One big difference with this lot. One of them has breasts. OK, get your kit on. I was hoping on we'd lose her somewhere along the previous six months. Come on, move yourself! I never thought a woman would be physically up to it. Right. But this one is? Yes. Well, that's quite impressive, isn't it? All those tossers in Whitehall probably think the whole thing's some fantastic PR coup. And you don't. It's a disaster. Come on, move yourself! Russians and the Israelis have women in their combat units? They're all ugly. Where's Caroline? Well, I got rid of her. Couldn't have a miserable face moping round the place now that Jamie's gone. Well, I'm sure that the uh, para-hunter force will do your job for you. They're bound to catch her and give her a good beasting. I have it on good authority. The Paris think the whole thing's hilarious. And they'll do everything in their power to get her through so we can have the pleasure of welcoming some hairy-kneed lesbian into our ranks. We'd be the laughing stock of the army. Henry, I don't think you've grasped the seriousness of this. If she gets through, she's going into Red Troop. Quite. Now, this is the sort of woman we want at Hereford. Cathy, may I introduce you to Henry Garvey? Hi. Your reputation precedes you. Pleased to meet you. Is that the tracking device? Yeah. Hmm. And the transmitter? It's in Rebecca Gallagher's great coat. Pack it in it, concentrate. Oh, I'm in the zone, Becca. Just because I'm focused doesn't mean I can't enjoy myself. You're sick. <laughs> Today. Somebody's got to do it. Pete was a good tracker. Yeah, but he's dead. They swung for it. Oh, I suppose it means they're not totally stupid. I don't think it's a good idea to get attached to people in this game. It distracts you from the job in hand. Mind you, she was tasty, Pete's wife. We didn't gone. I'm surprised you haven't gone in there. Louis. No, but, you know, with your wife pushed off on that. Louis, just concentrate on the job in hand. When we get her this G.I. Jane, will we break her legs or what? Louis, you seem to be missing the seriousness of the situation. We've just lost three men. If she passes selection, she'll be in Red Troop. We'll be the laughing stock of the regiment of the whole army. That's a bloody nightmare. You've got to wonder, really, how they got through six months. All the jungle trading must have passed them by. I mean, what's it? We've loved to bring it in these days. No, Louis, day. shut up. Yeah, you all right? Yeah. It was me they were following. You did try to nobble me. Look, you guys should split away. I mean, I've had a lot of respect for you, Becca. There's no way we're blowing six months just for, like, being well-mannered. No, I wouldn't either. 
You go that way. I'll give those two arseholes ten minutes and then I'll shut them. Good luck. What? Well, I was thinking with you. But don't patronize me. I don't. I'm need... not. It's for the crap. Be more fun with you. Hello, everybody. Hello. Hello. Y156? No, it's the last one. It's tough on her, isn't it? I mean, she's done six months, and you think if they let her start in the first place, they'd give her the credit if she's actually good enough. They're meant to be making their 1800 RV in three minutes. She's out there somewhere. <laughs> Looks like she's not going to make. She's made her RV. <sighs> this is a piece of crap. <laughs> Put that in the lorry, please. Will do. And also, could you try and find me a couple of packs of serviettes, please? I think they're down the galley, just under the bin bags. Okay. Thanks, Tony. Sorry, love. What are you doing here? Uh, Flight marshal. Catering. Maybe I can give you a hand. Come on. Leave me alone! <laughs> OK, thanks, Tony. That's all for now. Dark? Yeah, miss the RV and no food for another 24 hours. Swim, drown, die of exposure. So what are they gonna do now? Get caught, I imagine. Hello? What, you think they're gonna jump on that? <laughs> Mmm, lit. Soft seats, heating. 
Marsh, Rebecca and Ed. They get caught, they're off selection. And they're wearing civvies. Nothing. Oh, you clean up nice. Get anywhere special? Yeah. Well, secret. Bye. B and one C. No, it's all fine. Thanks. I trust we'll all do what is expected. I'm sure we will. See you later. Okay. On her way. taken. How? We are the first ones here. Well, I can give you 4D and 4E. How can 1B and 1C be taken? Well, I'm sorry, this is what the computer says. We do have Gold Club members that check in by phone. But, I mean, I don't really see that there's any... Look, 4D and 4E will be fine. OK, I'll give you those. Thank you. Nailed all the others. G.I. Jane and her buddy are still out there somewhere. By the way, is there any chance of a transfer to Red Troop? You desperate to work with Louie, are you? I'm desperate to get away from Sean Smith, mate. Can't do it, mate. I knew you'd say that, but. And there's always a but. Look, if you don't get someone with three or more years on him, you're gonna have to make Louie up to your number two. Yeah, <laughs> that is a big but. It's a proper Jennifer Lopez, mate. Well, as you know, it's not the done thing, but in this case, seeing as it is you, uh, I might be able to swing it. Nice one, mate. See you in a bit. Bo, 
boss. Why are you hanging around here? The tracker was US, and she gave us the slip. She made her last RV. Handerfalls are just bringing her in for interrogation. Life jackets can be found under the seats. 救生衣在每个人的座位底下 The life jacket is lifted over the head and inflated by pulling on the tongue. 紧急时，请将救生衣由头上套下，再将两边的拉环拉下，加以充气 It may also be inflated by blowing into the tube. 
。当拉环无法运作时，也可以从救生衣两旁的吹孔充气。Please do not inflate the life jacket before leaving the plane, as this may create an obstruction. Special life jackets are available for those of you with very young children, so please ask one of our cabin staff. So, could you please stow this for takeoff? If you like, I can put it in the overhead. That's、oh, all right, thank you. Please make certain all loose items are stowed away for your comfort and safety, and that your seats are in an upright position for takeoff. Now we are about to take off. Please make sure your seats are in an upright position for takeoff. Now we are about to take off. Please make sure your seats are in an upright position for takeoff. Now we are about to take off. Please make sure your seats are in an upright position for takeoff. Please stay seated. With... Thank you for your kind attention, and we hope you have a very comfortable. Miss, can you please just stay there a moment? It's just a routine exercise, madam. Oh, I wondered what on earth was going on. <laughs> Could I ask all passengers to please take their seats as we're finishing final position? Somebody's ill, I think. Ram, yaha, hamila samasi poryo. No, I think the plane has gone up. Can I ask all passengers to please stay very calm? I'm sorry to say that an arm incident is taking place, and we'll be very grateful if you comply with the wishes of of the hijackers. I'm not just going to sit here and have them come back. Tell them heads between their knees, arms on their heads, and all mobile telephones in the aisle. Anyone attempting to use a phone will be shot. Teddy, cover the aft. Can I ask everyone to please put your heads between your knees? Hands behind their heads, and to please put all mobile telephones in the aisle. I've been assured that everyone will be safe. Please, can I take my baby off the plane? Be calm, Miss. Mrs. Be calm. <laughs> It will be fine. We're adapting. We'll sort it out. 大家赶快把手放到头上，把行动电话放到嘴巴底下。他们有空能保证大家安全快点。Why doesn't he take her out, take her clothes off, and cover to the railway tracks like we used to? She's sitting there as though she's being interviewed for a job in bloody PR. Come on, get hold of it. What you'd expect to get a Al Qaeda get hold of her? This is meant to be simulating what she could get in real life. Exploit her weaknesses. She's a woman. Use that. Answer my question. Two, four, five. Muggins will have to do it. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
I know, thinking we could be doing better things with our time. Get her up against the wall in a stress position. He really doesn't want to get through, does he? Do you? Back, Not bothered. He's going to red trip after all. Oh, are we ready? Lubyanka. Yes, this is Psyops. Let me see. No, he's, um, he's busy. Right, I'll tell him. Hi, Jack. Nice work, Teddy. Say it thus. Thank you, sir. Now what? Evaluate the options. You mean we carry on? Well, uh, we might just... We carry on! We take this plane to Hong Kong, we let the world's media report our protest. But Devi, love, we don't have any pilots. Then we get them! We've come too far to turn back. We carry on. Yes, we carry on. If that's what you want. Yes, that's what I want. There's another problem. 22 Regiment SAS. If we stay here, they'll hit us for sure. Yeah, you're probably right. But they'll be reluctant if they don't know numbers, weapons and dispositions. Keep away from all the windows and double-check phones. Jack Liaison or some such peculiar title? Yes, I am. Good. Right. Um, I'm Alan. Mary. Right. Mary. Any idea how we get in touch with the powers that be? Yes, I'll show you. If I may. Lead on. We've cancelled all inbounds and closed Alpha Runway. We have removed all traffic from Beta Runway. Our snipers are in place, which you might either want to add to or replace. I'll defer to you on that. No, we'll work together. We have contact. Bring it up on the speakers, Hugh, if we're going to intrude. And we have automatic and semi-automatic weapons, P4 and Semtex, and relevant designating devices, remote and manual. My priority at the moment is to assure you and the SAS pods, I assume, are sharpening their pencils, that any attack on the aircraft will be vigorously repulsed and will result in massive loss of life. Oh, we understand. There will be no excitable reaction from our side. Thank you. I'll now hand you over to somewhere else. Well, if you chaps don't lock him up, I might have to offer him a job. Sounds like a Rupert. Does he? Hello, can you all hear me? Hello, we can hear you. Right. We are mounting this protest on behalf of the people of Tibet. Peaceful people in their country were brutally occupied by the Republic of China 50 years ago. We are horrified that the rest of the civilized world are now allowing such a brutal and murderous regime to host the Olympics. They're gone. We know who they are. We're working at it. If there's any nonsense, the Home Office want you in ASAP. Sean, work up a deliberate. We'll do, boss. Henry, sort out the basher for the off-duty rosters. I'm going to bring down all available CT personnel and we'll do turn and turn about. Boss. We'll be ready when you need us. Ah. You won't just give us pilots and let us go on to Hong Kong and China. <laughs> 
He's right, little sister. Keep a cool head. Why they wouldn't give us pilots? It's not how they operate, really. It, it, it might just be worth trying to see if they'll give us some to take us over to Holland. That would be okay. That would keep the media interested, right? Because we have to make the most of this now. Now we've started. And this gentleman is your basher. Oh, 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 oh yeah, this will do. Get the busy. Very nice. Just hearing yeah, yeah. that Oriental Airways flight OAY-156, bound for Dubai and Hong Kong, has been hijacked this morning shortly before its scheduled departure with all passengers and flight. No, coin slots are nothing. N.O. We want two pilots on board the aircraft by 1800 hours. Failure to comply will lead to us killing one hostage at 1801. This is not negotiable. We need two volunteers. Well, Louis and myself aren't doing much at present. I couldn't let anyone on the aircraft who might in any way be actually capable of flying it. I appreciate that, sir. Louis and myself aren't pilots, wouldn't know where to start. I don't understand how that would help. They would know straight away you weren't pilots, and then... The idea would be to hit them from all angles within a minute of going on board. Sounds right. Louis! And then there's your book deals. And that's when you really start to make some money. Oh. And oh. Louis. Um, what are you doing? I, uh, I'm just, you know, not stood two until... What stood two? And who's your friend? And, um, who's this? She's flight crew. Nobody told her the place had been commandeered. Hello, um, Geraldine. No, I'm Geraldine. Is this one of your men, Major? Major? <laughs> the question remains, attack? We'll wait and see if they're bluffing about shooting hostages. And what's Cobra's position? They leave that decision to us. They don't seem to mind a few casualties in exchange for a high-profile statement of our determination to hit hijackers hard. If Oi! That's Alan Eastwood. You know one of the passengers? Well, yeah, him. He's Ellen Eastwood. He's a captain in the Gurkhas. Could that be any use to us? Not really. He's the one talking to us. Well, I said he sounded like a Rupert. We've done a couple of live ops with him and countless exercises. So he knows both of you? Oh, good point. Yeah, let's bugger that then. 20 minutes to the deadline. Well, I suppose we'll have to put their resolve to the test. Checked in with wife. Devendra Eastwood, maiden name Rinposh. Rinposh? It's Tibetan. Here we've got another Rinposh on the manifesto, Cormel Rinposh. Wasn't there uh, a colour sergeant in the Gurkhas? Teddy, yeah? Yeah, Teddy Rinposh. That's him. And he checked in with this man, Dipka Ratnabandi. Do you recognise him? Yep, Dipka. He and Teddy are the good guys. Great soldiers. Another Aratna bandit. Ram. Yeah, you know him too. Dipka's brother. And they're generations of the same family in the regiment. They're great soldiers and as tough as it gets. What's all this about? Tibet. Ah, oh, you're from Tibet. No, my friend, he's from Tibet. And you're prepared to die for him? Absolutely. Well, I hope we don't all have to die for him. So say Enjoy to sing or the yet go satchelay. There's nobody coming. 
coming. Teddy, check from the cockpit. Make sure there's nobody sneaking around out there. So? If they don't send us any pilots? Then we carry out our threat. It's the point of no return. You have to be sure you want to do this. I believe in what I'm doing. And so do you, don't you? Yes. It just changes when we kill someone. I know. But so be it. Him. You shoot him. I'll do it. Hello, plane to tower. Is Hugh there? This is Hugh. We don't see any pilots. We were arranging for that and there was a pitch. Um, now we are trying to sort something out, but... But you decided to put us to the test. Big mistake. Hello? Hello? No! No! Please! Hey! Please! You don't need to help us! Please! I will hurt you if you don't help your cause. No one will work with you instead. Sit down, Rose. Wait, 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 don't shut up! Right, right, right. Just all right. Down! No! Wait, please. Please don't do this. I'm married. I've got two beautiful... It's over to you boys now. If you want to avoid it happening again, you must do what we ask. We want pilots to take us to Holland. You have to stall them. Humor them. One dead man is bad. 200 plus God knows how many of mine is considerably worse. Hello, Captain Eastwood. You know my name? a bridge or two. Look, Alan, we may be able to sort out some different pilots for you. It's quite late, so... Different? What do you mean? Uh, new ones to replace the crew who were on your aircraft. Hello? We want women pilots. Say anything, just buy me time. Yes, that may be possible, but it will take time. Hello? Uh, just a minute. All right. 8 a.m. Failure to comply will mean we will kill five more passengers. I'm sorry. This is not how we wanted it. But their lives are your responsibility. Out. Well, that's all we've established from cross-refing the manifest with the Gurkha records. Doesn't mean there aren't others. Alan Eastwood, wife, three Gurkhas. Even those will be no pushover. Not with the training we've given them. Too bad. 0630 attack. Be ready. Boss. What are you, eh? A cook? A medical? The regiment by gay. What do you do? Sergeant Gallagher. Two four five eight six nine seven five.
Look at me. Rebecca, look at me. Look at me. Look into my eyes. Imagine what they've seen. What goes in never comes out. You can't erase the image. It's carved into the back of my skull. Friends, cut to pieces, butchered. I've just buried three members of my troop, killed in a country where nobody even wanted our help. The youngest one had half his face ripped off before he died. The second took 14 rounds in his back and never even saw where they were coming from. The third, a friend of mine for 20 years. But we had to put sandbags in his coffin because there wasn't enough left to fill a mess tin. Is that what you want? I asked you a question. Is that what you want? Sergeant Gallagher, 24586. Rebecca Gallagher, 245. Is that what you want? Well, they said they wanted a female pilot. Well, who is she? Rebecca Galler of Selection. What? Oh, yes. I didn't recognize her. Well, she's had a shell. I think you should have one, Henry. A cold one. In 25 minutes, you were attacking an aircraft with 237 passengers on board, seven crew, and committing upwards of 16 men, each one of which cost over a million pounds sterling to train. They're going in against an unknown number of well-armed, well-trained British troops into a compact space that may or may not be booby-trapped. She could be our eyes and ears. Wouldn't they search her? If you intend to use electronic... Equipment. Well... I could implant the equipment inside her mouth and ear. We could establish two-way communication without the experts having the faintest idea what's going on. She's just off selection. He's just lifted her from God knows how many hours of interrogation. The whole point of the exercise is to be able to endure hardship and then deliver. You can deliver, can't you? Henry, watch my lips. I don't want a woman in the regiment. I certainly don't want one in a body bag within an hour of going into service. I will try to avoid that, sir, for your sake. It was meant to be two women pilots. First you wanted none, now you want two. Well, I'll tell them that the other one fainted as we were getting ready. I mean, we all know what girls are like, don't we, sir? She goes on board and we are waiting for your go two minutes after that. In that time, she can prime us with as much information as she can gather. Could make all the difference. All right. So it's a red troop op. Boss, that is not... OK. You do have an explosives gang. No, and you have two. I want Dave to join Red Troop. Very well. <sighs> Who's he? He was a sniper in his regiment. I want him to join the sniper team, and they can make up numbers on the assault team. We stick to Sean's DPA. I want four teams, plus Louis, standing by for the go, two minutes after she goes on board at 0800 hours. Carry on. Right. 
All right, lads, listen up. Top team, Sean, plus two, along the fuselage, in through the cockpit window. If it's closed by then, you do the hatch. Romeo 1-1 one, one, with me to stack up on door, red one. Romeo 1-2 to stack up on door, red four. And Bravo 1-1 one, one, to stack up on door, green four. Louis, I want you to climb in through the forward wheel bay. Microphone. There's just enough room for a short sauce to climb up oh. into the full cargo hold and up into What's the wire for? Is that the aerial? No, the wire connects to the speaker we're going to put in your ear. Dave, we're not going to go It also connects to the power unit. Well, how does that connect to the speaker? That's the nasty bit. <laughs> Simon's going to put a syringe through from your ear to the back of your mouth and then draw the wire up through that to connect the two units. Surprise. We go in there, we knock them down, and then we clear. And if we do have to hit passengers, well... Too bad. Are you still sure you don't want some local anaesthetic? Probably best not. I don't want to be dribbling. Grip your kit. <laughs> Go on, pop Ready it. To move five minutes before I call it. Well, I hope it works better than the tracker. Oh, a bit of female solidarity, was it? The Chinese went into Tibet during the 50s. That long ago? Hmm. Have you been to Tibet? No, I can't get a visa. Uh, Dev is my wife and she's blacklisted. Her family have been protesting the occupation from inside and outside Tibet since it happened. I've been up to the border in northern Nepal. And it's a, a mysterious, wild, barren place. You wonder what the Chinese want with it in the first place. Copper. Half the world's resources of lithium. What is lithium? Alan? Uh, excuse me. What were you doing? I was telling... I have to shoot her in 15 minutes. You were right. I wouldn't give us any pallets. No. Are you thinking we should give up now? I didn't say that. I know. I'm just asking if you think we should give up now. Do you think we should give up now? I will do what Ram does. And Ram will fight. Channel six. Got it. Okay, let's go. How's up? Clear as a bell. Mm -hmm. Still good? Oh, you still may have to communicate by tutting. One tut for yes, two tuts for no, and so on. Uh, let's try that, shall we? So, uh, do you wish you were back being a physical training instructor? Let's have three tuts for, I don't know. How many chairs along the wall? And we'll have four tuts for ask a different question. Not too much for you to remember. So, uh, what time do we go in? You nervous? Yourself. You're seeing yourself. You know what I mean. <laughs> How many fingers am I holding up? Zero minus eight FAPs, please. Let's have the steps up now, please. Let's have Foxtrot one, please.
Bring the steps up. Step away. Further. Further. Stop. Hands on head, facing away from the plane. No pot shots, however tempting. It's clear, there's nobody there. Where's the other one? We said two pilots. She fainted as she was getting in the car. Just keep it going, yeah? Can you fly it on your own? Absolutely. It's against IAA rulings to have less than two crew, but I guess you're already in breach of those. Cut the comedy, you're a pilot, not James Bond. Okay, come up. Come on, nice and slow. Let's have those steps a good 50 yards from the plane now, please. Explosives on door red one. Booby trapped. Right. Got that. Let's lose the uniform. There could be cameras, listening devices, anything in there. Explosives on door green one. Booby trapped. Got that. FAPs, please, gentlemen. Got that. Sean, it's just a uniform. You are my five, debt. What are you? What's debt? How many X rays? You're not a pilot. Look, open your mouth. I can't hear them. There's no way they'd get a woman pilot to volunteer. I am. I used to work for BA. I have 480 hours commercial. What sort of plane is this? It's a DC 10. It's a DC 10. Range? It's a Mark III, so 6,000 miles. It's a Mark III, so in the area of 6,000 miles. Can you fly it alone? Yes. Go on then. Let's see. Can you see the rear door green three? By how many x-rays the rear of the plane? Fox Trot 2 
Alex Racing Cockpit. Tell them about the tornadoes. Um, there's a problem. The RAF have tornadoes circling the airport, and they've been ordered to shoot us down if we get 50 feet above the ground. Explosives in cockpit. So why the hell did they send you then? Well, you said you'd kill people if, if they didn't. So roof, trap door, booby trapped. Not in window. What are they playing at? I'll speak to them. We should shoot her and throw her out. Top team, trap door booby trapped. Roger that. All teams ready? All teams in position. Romeo 7, need one minute. Okay, I want you to move the plane. What? Do you hurt me? Put it over there! I can't. There's soldiers with missiles all over the airport. If we move an inch, they'll blow it up. All right, fire it up. I'll tell you how to move it. She's lying. I don't think so. I'll fire it up if you need proof. We should shoot her. I agree. See the overhead console? Flick the ignition switch to on. Then press the amber button. She's an asset. Just tell me where they are. I can't see. Watch her. You down. Come on, come on. Somebody in the cockpit, turn it down. in the middle, one under here. All teams report. Red team two, ready. Roger that. That's top team in position. Romeo, call sign. Ready on red one. I have control. Someone's gone into the cockpit. What? We have that and stand by. Stand by. Stand by. Stand by. One X ray down in cockpit. Stay
seven seconds. Finishing. That's three, four. Five. Stronghold secure. Roger that. Nice work. Let's move the passengers. To work. Huh. It slipped on itself. Uh, gentlemen, there's someone here to congratulate you. The Home Secretary. Oh, this is nice. And adjust the air conditioning. Oh, look at that. Tell you what, these new kids don't have half the stamina we used to. Shut up, Louie. 